tons of games at the same time. So next thing you know, uh, we're going to need bull is game available. Now this is going to check if game is available or not. And if it's not, then we don't do anything. Uh, so we're going to use that check a lot for that bull in there. Um, and that's, I think, um, it for now. Uh, actually, we've got a few more globals. So we're going to write unlimited ammo globals. So um, we'll leave it a line and then we go bull unlimited limited ammo equals false and then we say string ammo pointer this is the address in which we're gonna um, we're gonna write our memory into so equals now what we do here is we're just gonna leave an empty string now because I'll show you how to get these um, these pointers so we'll do these um, few variables and then I'll show you how to get the pointers we'll get them all at once because it's kinda of boring work and um, and we want to get out of the way quickly ammo offset equals um, so we'll leave it like that because we're gonna put our offset here and uh, I'll explain to you how it works so int ammo to fill this is how much ammo we're going to overwrite to that um, uh, address in memory ammo to fill equals six because it's a revolver it's got six um, bullets or whatever so that is how it works uh, so how we're going to do this is uh, because we need to get those addresses we need to get into the game and um, find these things out so we're going to start cheat engine so make sure you've downloaded that um, click here to um, add the process uh, and you select vcop2.exe. Make sure that's running, otherwise it's not going to work. Um, so let's start the game, and I'm going to show you how to get the um, the memory addresses in order so in order to overwrite them. So um, I recommend you uh, open a Notepad file just so we can write these down, so that later we can uh, simply just put them in our code. Um, so we're going to get them all at once. We're going to get uh, ammo, health, and credits, and um, the score one as well. So um, I've got some notes how to get them slightly quicker because um, in some of the cases, as you see for the credits, it's very difficult to find it. So we'll cheat on that one. Um, so first thing we'll do is um, um, so we'll take a few shots. Um, as you see, as you can see there, if you pause that, you'll see that I only had um, I think five bullets left in my gun. So let's do a scan for five. Um, take a shot actually I think it was four never mind right, I'm gonna look for three now all of a sudden um, I got two now so our next scan will be two and then our next one will be for one so we got only one bullet now so if I'm doing this a bit quick uh, feel free to go back a tiny bit it's just because I'm assuming some of you know how to do this although you don't need to so I shoot one more time as you can see now that variable in green there is changing so I've got six bullets now so this is our address here so if we change this, so for example, let me take a few shots, and I've got only one bullet. So if I change this to six, you'll see that as soon as we go back into the game, I'll have six bullets. Actually, no, it doesn't. So that's probably not the right one. That's definitely weird. Two, one, zero. Reload, back to six. Uh, that was very weird there. Let's try and lock the address. Yeah, see, so if I freeze the address in memory, we have unlimited ammo. What this does is it, it doesn't let it get away from six uh, in cheat engine, but that's um, practically. Uh, I think that's exactly what we're going to do in the game. So first thing we're going to do, we found our address, so we're going to go uh, find what writes to this address. Okay, so just okay to that. And now there's nothing here, so we'll take a shot. And as you can see, that will change. If it doesn't change, it's because you got the wrong address. Now you want to select the address that keeps going up every time you take a shot. Um, so this is our address, and th we're going to write our code here now. So 28 is our offset, okay? And that's because it's written up here. So you see SI plus. So the red one is uh, your, our um, offset. We do that, and then we do um, 005B8. Uh, Sorry about that. My chair keeps squeaking. I've got to oil it up. Um, B8D0. Um, and this address here, 005B8. Oh, never mind. 52B8 my bad and this is our address uh, we're copying off here so it says the value of a pointer needed to find this address is probably this and what we do is we get this number here 52B8D0 
we OK that, we quit this because we want this. And we click hex here because we've got to scan for that address now to find it. And here we go. So we find a list of address. They're all green. This is what we're looking for. Static addresses are what um, what we're looking for. And um, they're going to allow us to put it into code and our program will find it. So um, usually we're expected to go through, search through every single one. But because I've done this before, I know exactly which one it is. And it's the first one. So normally if you're looking for something, you can't find it. You've got to go through every single one of them. So in this case, 400 of them. But you usually find it quite quick. So first thing you do here is you get this number here. You select um, Add Address Manually. And you write, you click Pointer here and you uh, write 004C, That's we're copying this exact address here, 4CF1AC, okay, and our offset was of 28, and as you can see, it points to this address here, 0052B8FA, and that's exactly what's there, so when we OK this, we're going to have a value of 6 there, so this points exactly to our, um, um, to our ammo, and that's all we need to adjust in game, so delete this one, we no longer de need that, so we're going to double click here on the pointer, make sure it's the one with the P, the one we just added, and copy this address, because that's what we need, and put it there, and that's that's that, we don't need that anymore, we've got our offset, and we've got our um, our address, so we'll just write ammo here, just so we know which one it is. So our next one is health, now ammo is pretty much the easiest one to find, but the other ones aren't too bad, so delete these, because we don't need them anymore. Actually, leave leave one of them in case you want to mess around with the ammo up to you. Actually, I'm going to delete it because I don't need it. So, untick, uh, untick the uh, X hex there. So, let them shoot you once. Okay, guys, so continuing on, uh, I had a little crush there with Fraps. Um, and I kind of lost, just by minim minimizing the game, I lost everything um, I had anyways on that um, bit of footage there. But, um, basically, I'm just going to look for the health now. That's our next one. So, um let them shoot you once. Actually, do a scan for three first thing. So, um, because I'm not sure which value um, health is, I think so. Two bytes. Uh, we're just going to go for all of them. So, um, we're going to scan for three first thing. We're looking for three. Let's just look for that. Um, here we go. So, let them shoot you once now. Here we go. There you go. They shoot you. Lose one health. Um, shoot you again. You've got one health now. And now you got to figure out which one it is. So shoots you one more time. Should have zero there. So shoot them, shoot them back. Uh, so you have uh, three. So should have three now. It could be either of these now. So let's just select that one. Now you could have made a scan for three to figure out which ones it was to dim it down. Um, but I assume it's this one. Now if I put six in here, for example, it should technically uh, give me a 6 on the health bar so if the if it is the right one and it is because we have 6 so because we have a 6 there now that's the address we've been looking for <coughs> just like on the ammo we go find out what writes to this address yes we want to attach the debugger um, let them shoot you one more time to tick that so if it doesn't if this doesn't show up when you lose some health then that means that um, <coughs> that means that it is not the right address so first thing you write is uh, offset so it will be 0 2 offset now 0 2 or just 2 by itself is the exact same thing and then you write 0 0 4 CF 1 A 0 and now you just write the value that says uh, is probably this um, I'm assuming they're going to be the same as mine so um, first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go hex and we're going to scan for this value now I believe we know it's a byte, so make sure we search for a byte. So new scan, byte, and then we go for that. Now, I know which one it is for a fact, but I want to tell you guys which one it is. Um, so it's, let me think, um, we look through these, we need to find a green address which is static, and we are looking for the address 004CF. So just look for zero zero four C F one. This can be very annoying looking for this. Um just gotta move it a tiny bit. Zero zero four C F two twenty four. We're just going past the C, the D and the here's our C, so C F C F 
220 here it is so this is the address we're looking for so I know this because I've searched for quite a while earlier and normally you'd be expected to just um, do the search for yourself go through every value like I said earlier um, but we're gonna write 004CF220 and we had the offset of 02 so just put 2 in there and okay and now if it's the right address it'll give you immediately 5 now you can try and modify that value uh, to make sure it is but I know for a fact that it is so um, what we do is we overwrite this address with this one put that there <clears throat> our next one is credits now credits is um, is a bit of a difficult one so I'm gonna cheat for you guys on that one now um, the reason um, for that is because it changes very weirdly that's the way offset works it just keeps changing values and it's it's not a stable thing and we probably spend about 10 minutes looking for it you could follow the same method that we have been following but you spend a lot of time doing it so there might be a more efficient way but um, I don't think there is so what I know for a fact is this is our address here so I'm gonna addre add address here um, just to make sure we've got the right one I, th I don't know if it's a 2 byte or 4 byte um, as you can see it gives me 0 and to make sure that I have zero credits uh, let's select six now this won't change until I die so if I die and I have game over that means it's the wrong one but if I die and I get the right one and I get six lives then there you go then that means we had the right one so that is it really we're only using one here because it's um, it's just a placeholder really um, and you'll find out how it works in a second um, and then our last one is score so this is for our score multiplier this one is just like the first and the second one um, first thing you want to do is um, here is take a few shots of these guys get the health down and then we want to find out what the score is and we're going to search for it so get yourself to go into game of situation so I know my score is 28,129 so 28,000 129 that's what we know it is so make sure it's not in hex by the way because if it is um, then you have a problem there so I'm not too sure so I'm gonna once again I'm gonna go for all because I'm not sure which type of value it is especially in old games a lot of the time they're using bytes and uh, two bytes instead of integers like in the new ones so we look for that we take a few more shots of these guys and we're gonna have to go die again shoot him because that makes us die quicker. Alright, there we go. Let them shoot us now. Let's get us down um, to credits again. And we're going to find out that we have 30,382 points. So 30,382 points. And that's our next scan there. Now, we've only got a serious a handful of them, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be the first one here. Although that doesn't matter. So it's a 2 byte value. So what, what I'm going to do to make sure it's that one, I'm going to put that to 40,000 now if when I do die um, I have 40,000 points we have the right one and that is it as our correct one so we're just gonna go find out what writes to this address and we're gonna get some points and, and then we're gonna search for it and we're gonna write these values down so our offset is of 10 and our, um, our address is 004CF1A0 1A0. I hate doing this in small letters for some reason. CF 1A0. So we OK that. We close this and we look for that value in hex. Now uh, we know it's a 2 byte value, so make sure you have that. 2 bytes. Oops. 2 bytes. I'm going to look for that first scan. Look for that. Um, and then I know which one it is. It's We're looking for. I did go through all these green ones until I got to the end here. And then it's uh, the value we're looking for is 10 DD it's this one here so we go add address manually just like we have been doing uh, and we want to put uh, 10 DD um, to uh, D 3 C and our offset is of 10 now if we OK that and we get the exact same thing then that's the right one so let's get that value there put it there and just uh, I'll write this one with it. So we've got all our uh, addresses, um, pointers, and offsets. So that's pretty much what we need to modify the game's code. Okay, so um, memory, sorry, not code. 
Uh, so we can close this now. We don't want this anymore. And uh, if you got any of the results wrong, um, 